Heart problems simply do not discriminate. Even the healthiest of people can suddenly find themselves in a life-threatening situation. Get on your side, Stacey Scheibel joins us now to kind of explain, and this is always startling to me when you see that person who's the picture of health and then you hear about a cardiac event. Yeah, I've recently sat down with a, a Tampa Bay area executive who just happened to be in the right place at the right time when he went into cardiac arrest. Larry Stock works at one of the Bay Area's biggest companies, Jabel, as the chief risk officer. And he tries to reduce his own health risks by staying in great shape. That's why it was completely unexpected when Larry went into sudden cardiac arrest a year ago while at the gym. Without having the people around me that were knowledgeable about CPR, without having the proper equipment like an AED, without them calling 911 immediately, I wouldn't be here today. Karina Gardano was one of the fitness trainers who helped save Larry's life. You just never know when it could happen, and that's what we learned with Larry's situation, is that while he was in an exercise setting, um, it could have happened anywhere, according to the doctors. So that's true. In fact, Larry had just had his annual physical two weeks before. My lifestyle was very good, actually. Uh, I had no symptoms. Uh, this was largely hereditary. I had been tired right before this, but nothing that was really noticeable. Cardiac arrest is different than a heart attack. It's when the heart malfunctions and stops beating unexpectedly. If not treated immediately, the patient often dies. So this was sudden, and it was surprising to me. But it wasn't debilitating because Larry was in great shape to begin with. There was no damage to the heart uh, or the brain. And we attribute that all to my fitness level. The lifestyle that I led before is the same lifestyle I lead today. No change in diet and no change in my physical activity. After his uh, cardiac event, he was so positive about getting back. And he wasn't nervous at all. He knew he was strong, he was positive, he was, and he was excited to get back. This happened on a Tuesday morning. And Wednesday night, I was having a normal, regular dinner with my family at home. And Karina and Larry moved forward on plans to open a gym together, something that was already in the works before his cardiac arrest. Now they own Fit Yard in St. Pete, and they encourage others to not only find their fit, but also to learn CPR, because you truly never know when you'll need it. The immediate action of the people there to perform CPR so quickly saved my life. And it's stories like Larry's that drop thousands of people to Raymond James Stadium each year for the Tampa Bay Heart Walk. The walk this year is on Saturday, November 11th, and News Channel 8 is again a proud sponsor. You can join my team by signing up at WFLA.com slash heartwalk, and we also hope you'll consider donating. The first $50,000 we raise will be matched dollar for dollar by Billy Fusillo.